which they have done, and then you can be left out. And I think it shows that the manager is quite happy with what they're doing and the, and the progress, and he wants them to be in and around the major group. So it's great for Scott McTominay and the like of, uh, of those. And uh, Marcus Rashford just showing off his, uh, his skills there. But it's, uh, it's, it's an experience that they've got to get used to as young players going away and playing in Champions League and, and, and experience not only the, the playing side of it, but the, the build-up, the travelling, and then the crowds, the hostile crowds, because they're very, very partisan in, in Russia. We know about Turkish football and, and Cypriot football that they just have got to get their heads round that. You know, they, 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 it's different over, over in places like that. Yeah. Which is great for our under-19s who are out in Moscow as well, in the yep. UEFA Youth League. I mean, they will get a great experience playing CSKA, um, highlights of which you can see on MUTV uh, tomorrow evening. But, again, it's such a different style of football when you play on the continent. It is, and I think it's great for the under-19s to go and do that, to yeah. be in that competition. Oh, that's brilliant. Because, obviously, they, they come up against different... Uh, different types of, of systems and the way that they're going to play, different players. I mean, I'm sure, you know, that they... I know they beat uh, CSKA, didn't they, at, uh, at home here? Yeah. But it was a difficult game. And uh, they will know that they've got uh, a challenge on the hand. I've not seen this one yet, Mark, have you? Well, it's either this is a new one. Is it an elaborate game of Ring of Ring of Roses? Yeah, or... it could be. No, I think what they do, yeah, I've seen them do it before, they just... Keep ups. If you mess up, you get eliminated from the circle. And do you get a, a, an ear flick? Um, not hair flick. An, an ear, ear flick. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, th I think they have uh, excused from that one this time. But obviously, no one wants to be the one who messes up. Well, we used to, you know, you know, you got your circle. I used to do the circle where the players in the middle had to hold hands as well. Um, so they had to move around in a in a pair so that they couldn't. If you got the ball through the middle of them then they had to do an, another forfeit. There's, like, there's loads of little games uh, you know, as, uh, that you can do. Well, it's all about making it fun, isn't it? Because when you're training day in, day out, if you have the same routine, the same little games, then you could quickly get a bit bored of it, I guess. But mix it up, have a bit of fun with it, as the lads are obviously doing there. Um, who's your money on winning this, by the way, Stitch? Uh, well, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because... There's some fantastic. You you would you would put your money on maybe uh, Matic or someone like that, wouldn't you? But I'm not sure whether he's, I think he's, he's out, been is eliminated he? already. He's eliminated. <laughs> so yeah, don't be lucky. You're not a better man, isn't it? Steve? Exactly. Yeah. Look, <laughs> I would go for I someone think going technical. For him. I, like, think, uh, I think I think they've targeted uh, Nemanja there. Wouldn't you say Mkhitaryan or maybe Jesse, someone who's technically very very solid? Yeah. Uh, let's just see. He, he, well, they try, and, they try and trap people, don't they, well, anyway? Of course so. you have, yeah. It's like when you're on the training pitch and you try and nutmeg each other. Yeah. You've got to try and catch people out. There's Bailly out. Bailly to Bailly. But, yeah, I, I like it. If you can have a bit of fun, they're in. I mean, when, oh, Lukaku. I was a bit harsh. He's better in front it? of goal, isn't he, than <laughs> keeping ups in a... holding hands in a circle. <laughs> that is a definite stitch up there, attempt. <laughs> Oh, I think, Damian, I think Damian might have gone. Oh, no, he's trying to muscle in. No, he's, Do you argue he's on gone. the training knows, pitch about knows. little things? Do you yeah. argue on the training pitch? Yeah, there was loads little of little things. games that we used to play. And um, I've not seen it, actually, with, with, with the hands, uh, you know, holding hands. They usually just play it away from each other and, and usually just smash the ball at each other and, and try and say that it was their fault. Well, this is getting very difficult, isn't it, with just four players all then? You've not got much space there. Well, I'm not sure. If, if they go down to two, are they, are they going to hold hands at just the two of them? Or do, do... <laughs> That's a good shout. That's the manager wants serious to get in. He's, start, he's, yeah. uh, he's called a halt, the manager. He's seen enough. That was a good game. I'm going to have to try that. I'll last, like, two seconds. I'll be first out. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that starts the session off nicely, doesn't it? Then you're into it. Bit of a warm-up. Um, and again, like you said, nothing too uh, rigorous at this stage. We were chatting, actually, weren't we, during the break about who might line up at centre-back for United? Will it yeah. be Lindelof and Smalling, who you can see leading that group there, as it was in the last Champions League game, or will Bayern Jones continue their impressive Premier League form? Yeah, well, I, I, 
from the uh, from the bibs, the yellow bibs. I don't think you're getting any uh, any hints really, because obviously no. Lukaku's got a yellow bib on. If you're thinking that the yellow bibs are going to be d defending against the team that's going to play tomorrow night, I'm not so sure because yeah, obviously there is a yellow bib. A yellow bib. Daily Blind's got start. a yellow bib on. Uh, obviously Axel and Matter uh, and Matter and, and Scott McTominay. So. Um, He's not giving anything away there. I just think that might just be uh, maybe a, a, an eight aside or something like that, a little game, yeah. just to keep everybody uh, on the toes and, and, and just get a good little blowout, but nothing too strenuous. Well, of course, they won't do any shape work, particularly in this first 15 minutes, no, which is a bit we're allowed to film. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. UEFA rules say... That's Even though we're looking film. at the, uh, the team sheets there and everything that came on. <laughs> But, uh, no, they, they, they won't give anything away, especially, like you say, in this, this first 15 minutes, and then yeah. he'll go into uh, whatever he wants when he knows the, uh, the world's press and, and ourselves are not watching. Yeah, when the viewer and I are definitely not focused on the last training session. Um, Matter there at the front of the shot, he's had a really good start to the season as well, hasn't he? He's making that kind of right attacking midfield spot his own, cutting in on that left foot and being very creative, as I know he can be. Listen, he's, he's one of our most creative players, along with uh, Henrik and, uh, and Paul Pogba. And, and we have a lot of creative players in the, in the, in the side now and in the, uh, in the squad. But, again, he's another player that can score goals for you, Juan, can't he? Yeah. And, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a player that I think has got another great football brain, knows where to be. He times his runs fantastically well because... He isn't the uh, the flightest of, uh, of foot, is he? And I'm not not you know dissing him there. Um, if he had an extra yard or so of pace, he would be an absolutely outstanding player. I still think he is, but he, he would be world class. And um, you know he's, uh, he's he's got that brain that sees things before people actually get into the positions, and he knows where to play the ball. Yeah, he's got a and, great picture uh, of the game. And like hasn't I say, he's he's a He's a really, really great player and what a fantastic bloke as well. You know, we know about all his off-the-field uh, antics and, uh, and his uh, charity work and, and the big one now is the, uh, is the one with, the, with the, the players' wages, which he's trying to get everybody to, uh, to donate to. What a, what a fantastic uh, idea that is. Yeah, he really is a top, top guy. Uh, now, again, you said you can't read too much into who's got bibs on and who hasn't in terms of your starting selection, but Daily Blind, do you think he'll start left-back or will he keep with Ashley Young, who obviously set up the goal at the weekend and since he's come back to fitness, has done really well? I'm, I'm not certain, uh, Sully, because I thought we looked a little bit jaded in that second half. I thought that Daly might have come on maybe a little bit earlier. So I, I think he might start the game. I'm not sure, but um, you know Ashley's done brilliantly in those two games. He might want to keep that going. He might want to keep the same, uh, you know, uh, team as as much as possible. But he has to be careful because obviously, you know, we're looking at the the injury from you know of Paul Pogba's. Was that an injury that was a little bit of fatigue because he'd been an ever present in every team in every every game? That could have played a factor in that. Yeah. And he's already had one, uh, you know, hamstring injury. So he's got, he's got to be in touch with all the uh, the medical staff as well. He's yeah. got to have a, a, a good handle on that. And I'm sure that that's what they do. You know, they'll meet every day over the over the injury situations yeah. and how they feel that players are in uh, in in their uh, you know their, their their makeup as well. Okay. While we watch the uh, keepers go through their training session, let's hear again from Jose Marino, who was talking to Stuart. Jersey, I think it's a new stadium on all of us. You've had a look at, out there and had a look at the pits. What do you make of it? Good. Beautiful stadium, absolutely beautiful. And uh, the pitch looks good and probably the best I have had, ever had in Russia. Different sort of preparations for this trip. I think we've come out a day earlier. Is that because of the, the distance involved? Yeah. And uh, we feel good together. So we prepared the game, we got together and... Uh, we focus on, on this last week before um, another international break. How important is experience in a trip like this? Particularly, you've been in charge of so many difficult away Champions League games, difficult places, hostile places. How important is that in a situation like this? 
know, uh, I played against CSK with Chelsea, with Inter, with Real Madrid, uh, now with, um, with Manchester United, and it uh, was never easy. Uh, I always got positive results, but it was never, was never easy. Um, and it's important to be in control of, of the emotions. Uh, I think this is the best CSK I, I play against, analyzing the team and comparing with, with previous uh, times. This is the best CSK that uh, I'm going to play against. So it's important, yes, to have uh, stability and to play well to get uh, a result that, that we need. I don't think many people thought CSK were going to win in Lisbon in, in match day one. What did you make of that uh, result? You know, the, the, the result could be different. Uh, they won, but Benfica could perfectly win the game too. But um, they are a good team. They are a team that can create difficulties to anyone in, in the group, including us. I'm, I'm expecting a difficult match. Yeah, so Jose speaking to Stuart. They also mentioned actually that uh, Phil Jones is out of the game tomorrow night. So, a bit of news there, which means it will be by with or possibly Smalling or Lindelof or the two of them together. So, there will be at least one change in that back line. Yeah, that's another uh, uh, blow, isn't it? A late one that we've, we've got to know about. So, it'll have to be, uh, well, yeah, per many, any of the two from that, from that three. I think we were talking off air. I think you thought that they might he might go with yeah, Smalling might, and Lindelof. I think he might again. give them both a game. Yeah, um, we will just have to wait and see. But I wonder what the uh, what the injury is uh, to uh, to Jonah. That's uh, come out of the blue. Yeah, let's hope it isn't too serious. Uh, but we just about run out of time here.